You remember Gino Palazzolo, right? Yeah, that guy from 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days who always seemed like he had a trick up his sleeve. Well, turns out, Gino's got some major baby fever going on. But hold up, because it seems like his fiancée Jasmine Pineda might not be on the same page. Now, Gino's been pretty vocal about wanting to be a dad on the show's sixth season. And while his enthusiasm is admirable, it's starting to look like he's cranking up the pressure a tad too much for Jasmine's liking. These two lovebirds, aged 52 and 36 respectively, have been going strong for three whole years, and this isn't their first rodeo on the show. Nope, they're back for round two, bringing all the drama and intensity we've come to expect. Oh boy, their relationship hasn't exactly been a walk in the park. Picture this, they first crossed paths on a sugar daddy slash sugar baby website. Yep, you heard that right. Talk about unconventional beginnings, right? But hey, love works in mysterious ways, they say. They've faced a barrage of hurdles, from jaw-dropping confrontations, like Gino sharing Jasmine's not-so-PG pics with his ex-sugar baby, yikes, to Jasmine's own slip-ups in communicating with her ex. But guess what? They're hanging in there, fueled by dreams of marriage and the looming K-1 visa decision that could change everything. Remember that awkward phase when their bedroom business hit a rough patch and Jasmine wasn't exactly singing praises about Gino's family? Well, it seems like they've managed to smooth things out in those departments. And that, my friends, might have set the stage for Gino's baby mission, a mission that's been met with more than a little resistance from Jasmine. Get this, during their recent episode, Gino goes all in and starts chatting about babies. And hold on to your hats, because he even goes as far as to comment on Jasmine's belly, suggesting she might already be sporting a baby bump. Now, if you can imagine the awkwardness and the pressure, just hold that thought, because Jasmine's reaction is a mix of reluctance and hesitation. But you know what they say, it's all about perspective. And Jasmine's got a couple of valid reasons for tapping the brakes on the baby train. First off, she's already a mama to two kiddos from a previous marriage. Here's the kicker, neither of these little ones lives with her. One's with her ex and the other's chilling with her mom. Adding another tiny human into the mix could be like juggling flaming swords, way more than she can handle. And then there's the health card. Jasmine's been pretty open about her health struggles, including a heart arrhythmia that's given her some serious hospital time. Plus, she's dealing with alopecia, a condition that's been a major source of stress for her. Now, imagine piling pregnancy onto that already wobbly stack. It's like playing Jenga with the universe, and it's no wonder she's cautious. Here's where things get real interesting, though. Gino's not exactly taking the hint. Nope, he's like a bulldog with a bone, sticking to his guns about wanting a baby. Jasmine's got her reasons, totally legit ones, and she's tossing them at Gino, hoping they'll stick. But Gino's all, hey, you said you wanted one before. Jasmine, in a brave moment of honesty, admits that she might have said that to avoid losing him. Ouch, that's gotta sting a bit. So, here's the deal. It's Jasmine's call, no doubt about it. The pressure Gino is dishing out might need a serious dial down. Let's keep our fingers crossed that these two find common ground and navigate their way through this choppy sea of relationship challenges. Phew, talk about a roller coaster, am I right? But hey, that's reality TV for you, full of surprises and curveballs. So, what do you think about Gino and Jasmine's situation? Should Gino ease off a bit, or is he just being passionate? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's get this discussion going. And hey, if you're loving the Drama Pact updates on your favorite reality stars, don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe for more piping hot tea. And remember, folks, the real show is happening right here in the comments, so don't be shy, share your take. Alright, that's a wrap for today's scoop. Thanks for joining me on this wild ride. I'm Max, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Stay tuned, stay awesome, and until next time, keep those opinions coming.